I have come to a popular drinking spot in Kanda in Accra. Residents and passers-by visit this place to calm their nerves with alcohol. It is 10.15 a.m. and Kwabna Nyako, known by many here as Chicho Bello, is here to grab a glass of alcohol. It makes me feel cool and loving, smiling. The 46-year-old tells me he started drinking when he was nine years old. He is the general secretary of Yebudidi, a team made of alcohol consumers, a position he has held for nine years. We don't drink uh, hard liquor at once. How can you drink one shot? Boom. Kwabene's experience resonates with that of Kwame J, not his real name. He was an alcoholic for 13 years. Kwame tells me he started drinking while in secondary school. So I was home a couple of years ago, I think three years ago, when my friends came and they said, oh, um, they realized that I have a, a drinking problem and then would I like to go to um, the rehab? And honestly, at that time, my life had become a little unmanageable. I asked him when he decided it was time to seek help. I could not really take care of myself. So when they suggested that I go to um, the rehab, I, 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 didn't, um, I didn't hesitate. He has been on the recovery path for three years now. Kwame is now a member of the Alcoholic Anonymous Fellowship, overcoming the challenge of alcoholism that almost cost him his life at an early age. I knew there was something wrong with me, but I couldn't really figure out what exactly uh, was going on with me. Yeah. But when I got into the treatment center, and then they, um, I was introduced to um, the disease of addiction, and um, they taught me what alcoholism was. And that's when I was like, whoa, this is actually um, what was happening to me. Alcohol use disorder is a medical condition, a combination of medications, behavioral therapy, and support can help a loved one recover. Hilary Salasi Nutako as a psychiatric nurse and addiction counselor at the Accra Psychiatric Hospital. 50% of his patients are alcoholics, a situation he describes as worrying. It's on the rise because if young, the youth who are the future leaders of our nations will be admitted on alcoholism grounds, then probably we are in danger and the number has been totally high for some time. It should be a worry to you and I and the, uh, and the nation as a whole. Alcoholism takes much time in the rehabilitation. Okay. Actually, the years that you spend with your addiction, it takes you the same year for you to be recovered. So it's much, there, there's the need for public education on alcoholism. So According to the Civil Society Group Vision for Alternative Development Ghana, alcohol is the most commonly used addictive substance in Ghana. Alcohol intake has increased by 23% in the last two years, with intake prevalent among youth aged 15 to 34 years. We have done the consultation together with the relevant agencies, FDA, Mental Health Authority, WHO, and the CSOs. And currently, we have a draft that has gone to the Office of the Attorney General. They have cleared it up for us, and we have communicated officially. Volta region has the highest male prevalence of 42%, while Upper West region has the highest female prevalence of 37%. Advocates attribute this to the lack of control over the promotion of alcoholic products. Ghana is currently reviewing its alcohol policy, the Public Health Act, Act 851, to ensure proper legislation. The next time you grab a bottle or a glass of alcohol, you might want to think twice before you consume it. Godwin Asideba, TV3 News, Accra.